And instead, we're moving on to trading fucking spouses, bruv. No woman. We don't watch video about woman. Drug. Two totally different families are trading one parent for one week. New house, new kids, new life. Each family gets $50,000, but it's up to the new mommy to decide how the money gets spent. It's two families' quest to answer one age-old question. Is the grass truly greener on the other side? It's happening. Let everyone know. Oh, I'm so hot. Oh, I feel like I need an ice cube on the back of my neck just to cool me down. Oh, how about you do it? Oh, Allah. Oh, Abigail, that feels so good. Oh, see, Allah. Oh, that ice cube feels good. They say that nobody's happy unless I, I am happy. That's hitting a spot that I am. Did you just say Allah? The anime has been following since 9 11. Okay, this is the longest fucking troll that I just. If it's a troll. What controls the whole house? I am a queen! It seems to be the consensus, so I guess I'll have to give in and say that that's true. I need my back popped. As long as she gets her way, she's happy. It's better if I just try to work with her and do the things that she wants. Pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it. Oh, oh, I love we my can't husband. even pick. Oh my god, I can't even pick her up. How passive Barry is and how much so he does. I think I'll just drop so a, um, a glass on the front porch there. If you don't mind getting that, I'd appreciate it. I'm kind of the handyman. I'm the pool boy. I'm the yard boy. Trash and stuff. That's pretty much for dad to do. <laughs> um, I myself have only had one sexual partner in my life and that's my wife oh no brother you are that that's anything to be proud of but hell i was a skinny white boy couldn't get any action whenever i was in school <laughs> i need the purple give me five seconds one mr b two mrs b oh no brother we have two children Ashley Nicole Perrin and Brooke Mixon Perrin. And we also have a granddaughter, Abigail Allen. Down here, on which of mommy's finger. Ashley got pregnant with Abigail when she was 16 and a half. I really didn't know what to do. And then I prayed, I prayed, prayed, prayed, prayed. And God gave me the answer. I just said, Ashley, God has just given me this message. You're gonna open up a dance studio. And she says, are you crazy, mom? All right, ladies, we're gonna get some music on. As she started dancing when she was like seven, it just brought her personality out and she loved it. I said, when I grow up, I wanna be a jazz dancer. But I guess God wanted me to be the dance teacher instead. All right, stop, we're stop. Super big jazz hands. Abigail, panties in the panty castle now. Ashley's parenting is exactly like mine. It's so similar in so many ways. Hey, Brooke, put on your leotard. Huh? Unload that. Oh, that's a bit much. Brooke, go hang Dad's shirt on the back deck. Get some bottled water. Fix that sheet. Brooke, go get the apples. Start cutting them. My mom and my sister, they're like always telling me what to do. Go do this. Mother says go do that. Go do it. Go get the ladder. Now. Brooke, get the cream cheese. Hey, Brooke, just get over here. It's hard. Brooke, have you vacuumed in here yet? But I just do it and don't put up a fight. Oh, Lord, thank you. I felt you last night. I can hear God. I'm constantly talking to God. 
Who I forgot something, Lord? And he talks as much as I do. One more thing, Lord. Help me make some Cajun food that everyone will like. If you don't believe. See, this is the thing I never understand about people who say that they talk to God, right? Like, if you are able to talk to an omnipotent, omnipresent being, why the fuck would you ask for Cajun food? Like, don't fucking... You, know, you don't think God has more on his plate? Like, you just... You're gonna, you're gonna fucking ask God about Cajun food? Like, yeah, wasting his fucking time or her or there. Believe that God died on the cross and he's our savior. Lord Jesus, thank you for gathering us all here today. That bothers me. Yes, amen. Yes, yes. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't believe in living a conventional life. I'm a spiritual person. I am very open to a lot of different non-traditional things. I'm trying to find the miso soup. Are there any more soy milk? My husband, Chris, and I are not average people. <laughs> High five. We're unique. I have two kids, Elliot and Emma, and Chris has a son, Miles. What are you doing today? I think I'm doing hypnosis. I'm involved in astrology and hypnosis and feng shui and past life regression work. Always. Okay, this, this fucking show literally proves everything I say, which is, remember how I always talk about that fucking God hole? Like, you got to fill it up with something to contextualize things that you just simply cannot comprehend or simply cannot understand, like the meaninglessness of life and all of that stuff. So yeah, when you stray away from religion, you try to find other things like spirituality, other forms of spirituality. This is literally like, this is just a, not your theory. I, I think Dennis on Always Sunny in Philadelphia said something similar as well. Some choose drugs it's called God of the Gaps. Or things like QAnon, for sure. By the way, yeah, miso soup and soy milk were considered alternative back then. That this this video dates itself outside of like the VHS tape quality, but with that reference. Start by breathing in. I've been a certified hypnotherapist for 14 years. Through your abdomen, right through your belly. I'm just a person that likes to connect with people. I think that that has a lot to do with being an Aries. So this is your physical body, but you also have emotional, and you have a mental body, and you have a spiritual body. I think everyone needs... A lot of STEM lords do fill that god hole with Elon Musk. Like the Church of Musk and STEM. They turn it into like this weird dogmatic cult. True. It's to like Reddit slash atheist. There for them. These are dowsing rods. This is just a tool to help you trust in your knowing. Right now, just say yes, no, yes, no, and they open right up. Yes, no. Just say yes, no, yes, no. Just yes, no, because you have a yes side and a no side, and so that's why it's going. Yes, no. <laughs> now there's your fingers on the in the way there with it. It's going to get stuck. Okay. okay. I see. So that's that's amazing, isn't it? Right. Welcome to Love Talk USA. I also co-host a national radio show with my husband, Chris. And today we have David Stackhouse of Five O'Clock Shadow, and we're going to hear a, a taste. No, we don't have that yet. Okay. Chris and I are newly married, not even a year yet. We met on Match.com. Caution. Insincere charade, masking true feelings. Whoa. Fortunately, she had a chart that was very compatible to mine. He was very oh, impressed that I was Shut Aries, up, so dude. That's the first thing that caught his attention. So, not my beauty or anything. Just... <laughs> 
Do you guys know that on July 16th, Saturn moves into the sign of Leo? It's a huge event. The next two and a half years will be significant for you. Two and a half years? Yep, challenging. I think everything is challenging. <laughs> Some people have a very easy life. Right. But it just may be. They just want to coast through it. I don't think so. I think everyone has a challenge. Chris and I absolutely love each other, but we do butt heads a lot. It's always something I think someone's I challenged think with. Some people's really challenges like are less than others, though. What's that? I do think that Jeannie's overreacting in some cases. I think she's a very sensitive woman. I have to admit, we're not perfect. What do you do when you fall in love and you really want to bring your families together? the parents in the house aren't getting along. It's really difficult because I, I want peace, I want love, I want a great marriage, I want a family. Okay, this, sh this show is insane. Like, th this show is great because they find the biggest freaks. Like, how the fuck? They liter this show is literal radical centrism. They, this is actually like the horseshoe theory, radical centrism, very difficult to just like pick a side. Both sides are fucking terrible and also so unique in their freakness. It's great. It's also anti-white agitprop, which is great uh, separately from everything else. Um, that's why we, that's why I love I love watching it, I think. It's just it's like the worst thing to show anyone about white people in America. Can I have a prayer? I gotta watch over you and take care of you. Amen. We'll take care of the new mommy when she gets here. I'll carry this one. So this is not wife swap, this is trading spouses. So what's the difference? Can someone quickly explain that to me? They don't have sex? No, they don't fuck on wife swap either. But it seems like they're going to fuck on this one. Because the first husband was talking about how he's never fucked. In trading spouses, they get money? Okay. Because the guy, like, the beginning, in the beginning, he was like, I'm a white guy. Like, I never fucked anybody except my wife. Like, implying that he's gonna clap cheeks like implying that he's gonna he's like i'm, I'm into some crystal bus that's what i'm trying to hit I can't care both does my hair look all right i'm all it's wet fine. still yes again both families would agree on anti-vaxxer yes the this show trading spouses and wife swap is about a show where you find members of the left or w that would identify with like liberalism and also members that would identify with conservatism, but they both agree on, of course, inflating America's defense budget, just like Democratic and Republican parties, and also not using vaccines because vaccines cause autism. I'll see y'all in a bit. Bye. Vaccines don't cause autism, you dumb fuck. I think that about does it for today. I think maybe I should end the stream right here. Because now I have someone in my audience who thinks that I think vaccines actually cause autism. He must have been vaccinated to have such a take like that. To, to actually see what I just said is anything but a sarcastic quip.
Does he not know what she looks like or something? Expecting someone a little more dainier? I was. <laughs> <laughs> You're Are probably you? looking for me. I wasn't hard to spot, was I? I promise you I'm normal. Are you? I'm Chris. <laughs> nice What's to meet you. Name? Hug. <laughs> What's it's your name? Margaret Perrin. Look at you. Oh my goodness. Let me take your bags. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Okay. Can't right. wait. Oh, thank God. Yeah, right. I was praying for Mary, Jesus, and Joseph to help me. <laughs> and you look like Jesus, Why so I'm comfortable. Okay, one immediate thing I've noticed in all these shows is that like one husband is definitely more cucked than the other husband. And also like, I hate to say this, but like one side kind of does get like a better wife a little bit. I guess so, same with like one side getting a better husband in this circumstance too. But like, like in the last episode, it was definitely the Confederate mom. Like the Confederate mom was like, clearly better than the other one uh clearly better than the fucking vegan mom and in this circumstance it seems like the the fucking spiritual detective mom is going to be better than like jesus mary and joseph mom Hi, I'm Barry. Oh, hi, oh. Barry. I'm Jeannie. Oh. Jeannie, great yeah. to meet you. you Let too. me catch that. Back Yikes, oh, dude. Oh, well, oh. Chad, is that what I sound like when I make the milky mommy jokes? My first impression of Barry was that he was a very Louisiana. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you coming from? Boston. Boston? Get out of here. Bean Town. We're going to have a lot of fun. I knew Barry was really embracing the fact that I was here. Well, what, what do you do? Well, I do lots of things. Okay. But I want to be careful with my words until I feel that he is... Okay. ...open to new things. So, where should we start? Oh, God. To be fair, I'd be fucking... I'd be hyped, too. He's happy. And I get why. I know they've been waiting because they got up at 4 o'clock this morning. Is it her? I'm just saying, he just got a crystal mommy. I well, uh, <laughs> but they always say don't judge a book by its cover. On, and there's wow. her wow. and Brooke. Oh. Nice to meet you. Me too. Thank Hi, you. I'm for Ashley, you. give me a hug. We're hugging family. Oh, this is Abigail. Hello. Yeah. Six years old, right? Oh. Well, That's okay. Yeah. It's wonderful. Come on in out of yeah. the heat. We, we, we melt down out here. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. I can feel it. When I came here, I could feel the energy in this house. I caught on to that right away. Let's get you in the house first, and then we'll come back and get the, uh, Ooh, the bags. Man. Oh my goodness! Oh. Emma? Don't be surprised. I promise you, you don't Elliot. like me. Can I hug everybody? Are you scared of me? <laughs> I know I'm a big thing. Look what she's got in her hand. No yeah. I'm harmless. I promise you, you're gonna like me. Don't be scared. 
Look, he's scared. Don't be scared. So you want to see the rest of the place? Over here is where the, our office is. These are mandalas. This is, I'll show you. I've never seen that before. You Still know what these are, right? When I walked in, I could tell by the things in their house. I wonder what that is. Is that like for a quilt? It's an astrology chart. It's the hippie partridge family. And I was thinking, oh, Lord, how am I going to do this? So here's the backyard. I'll show you that. <laughs> what? Oh, we, there's a storm. <laughs> it's not that kind of star. You think it's some sort of witchcraft star? No, it's just a star. Nothing funny about it. Margaret thought that the star in the barn was like the witchcraft or something like that. Not that there's anything wrong with witchcraft, I mean. I don't know, I'm just asking. It's just a star. Why do they keep showing the Buddha? Like, like, is that supposed to be an intimidating figure as well? Like, I get the devil and stuff is, like, scary, but, like, isn't that kind of funny that they just, like, they keep showing, like, the, the witchcraft star or whatever, like a pentagram, and a couple devils, and then they're like, but the Buddha! Uh, like... Like, little gargoyles is scary, but like, what? What are you afraid of the fucking Buddha, too? Stay tuned because before this switch is over. She's not a Christian! No! She is dark sided, too! Gargoyles, psychics, everything's ungodly! Get the out of my house. In Jesus' name, I pray. That escalated rather quickly. What? Uh... What? My first morning when I, I got up, I wanted to get a jump start to get things moving. I haven't had the chance to really talk to everybody. Want a taste of the soy? No, no. No? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's vanilla soy. <clears throat> Tell me about you. What do you do? I'm a hypnotherapist. <laughs> okay. How did you arrive at becoming this? Is it schooling or is it education or is it just... Um... Oh, I've had a lot of education in this. I'm getting my doctorate. Okay. So you currently have a master's in this? Um, no. Okay. When you're starting to mess around in the mind and in the subconscious, it's like, I'm not going to go there. Okay. You want to help me with some... Cinnamon rolls? Mm -hmm. I don't think that Barry really understood about hypnosis, so I asked Ashley to give it a try. So if you wanted me to do hypnotherapy, I brought a real treat for you. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm game for anything. She needed to talk about doing the hypnosis on me, and I'd be more than willing to, you know, to do that with her. And I would love to see some of the glimpses of the things that she does in every aspect. Ready for the hypnosis? Yeah. I am definitely out of my element. I don't read horoscopes. I don't believe in it. I'm closed, totally minded to that. M.O. Yeah. Same, sister. I think I'm going to side with this one on this one. I think love and wholesome God, the way our Lord intended, a lot better than uh, being open minded to some horoscope shit and crystals. These little paintings that your dad, well, Chris does, the little. Uh, are they Chinese? What are they? The little dolls? Are they Chinese? Yeah, what, are, what exactly are they? 
I don't know. They're mandalas. They're just drawings. So you don't know the, like, history behind them? Not really. I'm not so sure of any of this. I don't... When you don't add the Z in the end of Chinese, that's when you know you are around an enlightened individual. Are these Chinese? <laughs> I love that. I don't want to open up any windows or doors or what I consider dark sided things. Well, I'll see you later. Bye. If you need to have any help with that, I'm okay. Same goes, same, little... same mentality with adding an R in the end of like Latiner. It works both ways. Forward. Just begin by breathing all the way up, all the way up, up, and now exhaling all the way down. Your entire body is free from all your cares so that you can just simply relax. I take hypnosis very seriously because it's important for people to understand how their bodies, their energy field works. Say each phrase after I've said it. I actually am a grown-up and I can choose for myself. I actually am a grown-up and I can choose for myself. That's good because I am now in control of my life. And that's good because I am now in control of my life. Great. Excellent. Feel a real sense of pride in that understanding. And now it's time to bring this session to an end. You will wake up at the count of five, refreshed, happy, and full of vitality. One, becoming more aware of the room around you. Two, becoming more aware of your body. Three, beginning to move. Four. I wonder if she brought her own PA system. Eyes. And five, wide awake. Or if she and notice how great you feel. Or if the house had one. Whew. And she fucked it up. How do you it's good. Still relaxed and good and clean. It's very nice. Thank you so much for doing that with me. I love. I'm so glad it. to see a glimpse of some of your craft and like what you do mm -hmm. and your talents. Mm -hmm. and it's wonderful. Ashley gave me the biggest genuine thank you. Oh, that's good. Yeah. It made me feel really good. I connected with Ashley and I know she really liked it. Isn't it nice? Yes. I don't really know quite what was supposed to happen, but at least I was able to get a nice restful sleep. I think she's being nice right now. I wonder how long that'll continue for, but... This morning, I heard this noise coming from the dryer. Oh, no, this is no. I'm telling you, I had the most uneasy feeling come from my toes all the way to my head. demons inside the wash and drying unit straight out of Chinese the Chinese wash and dryer unit it's got Satan in it Miles anybody Miles oh, deal. I don't know what it is but I have a very uneasiness The dryer is making this noise. It always does. It's fine. I just had this feeling, and it was like ringing through me. I cannot explain it. What stinks? Okay, guys, it stinks. It stinks really bad. I don't know what it is. 
Wait, what did y'all put in there? We didn't put this anything in it. Guys, this is like real. It's just weird that she started like freaking out. There was no need for it. Guys, what is it? Uh. I gotta do something. She's throwing up. What is, what is it? Go. What is it? What is it? <laughs> Can someone explain to me, please? Okay, give me spoilers. I don't care. What is she smelling? I need to know. I'm losing it, dude. Uh, uh, oh. oh, God. <sighs> Why is she squealing literally like a pig? What the fuck was it? So I'm trying to figure out how this is going to work. So hopefully we'll get a tent out there. We're having a solstice party today. And the reason that I'm doing this is because I'm hoping that Marguerite understands that whatever it is that I represent, it's simply another way of looking at life. And I want her to be comfortable and I want her to feel at home. I really do. We got a party to plan, you know. We're having a solstice party. The solstice is sun is at the highest and the angle of the earth makes there more daylight than the other day. So we will light a fire, bang some drums, and we'll drink some beer, and we'll maybe have some jambalaya. So this is the sort of thing people do. How's your new spouse? Well, you're going to meet her in a few minutes. You got to meet Marguerite. Hello. Hello. This is Marguerite. Hello. This is Shannon. It's nice to meet you. This is Christopher. It is so nice to meet everybody. Yeah, I'm having a little anxiety about this. It's Margaret. Hi, I'm Joel. Nice Joel. to meet you, Joel's Joel. from Seattle. Hi, Maya. Maya. Nice to meet you, Maya. I don't understand this whole ritual. It's very odd. I have a very uneasy feeling. What, just like solstice? Looking at like... So far, we're having fun in this house. And you know, I'm really glad that they got to know a little bit about me. But I want to learn more about the parents today. Yeah, today at noon. Everybody's pretty excited about this. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be we're, fun. We're going to be having my mother's friends over to the house. They come in probably two to three times a week. It's such a fun group of ladies. They get loud, like Margaret. Sounds like a lot of fun. Lord help you then. I'm excited about the thought of meeting their friends. Who knows, maybe they'll help me and have a better understanding of this family. That's kind of how fate works. I just don't understand why she's like so freaked out by the solstice. I like... <laughs> Bro, what is, is, was this like, was this hairstyle all the rage in fucking Louisiana or something? Like, why is everybody rocking this cut? What is this cut? I mean, why? This is a cut that I see now in like Brooklyn. You know what I mean? Like, this is like a, like a Brooklyn cut now. Like I can see like a, like a Brooklyn podcaster with this haircut. You know what I mean? Who says like, sometimes says like turfy shit. Everyone had to cut in the early 2000s. Smells of the chemicals they're using to turn the frogs gay. They're liberal, so they've developed a resistance to it. She's an ancestor to the Karen. Look at her face. Christian Arab here. Can I shed context on this kind of stuff? I'm over Constantinople, by the way. We're cool. Wait, what? You're a Christian Arab. Why are you upset about Constantinople, brother? 
fuck? It's not like you're Greek. I didn't know that Christian Arabs got upset over Constantinople. 1453, best year of my life. Watch Honey Boo Boo. It follows the life of a Trump supporter family. It's like The Office, but not scripted. Greek Orthodox here. I'm not over it. Or the Hagia Sophia. Yeah, she do be looking like Anna from Red Scare. Yes. My good friend Casey, Abigail's Hi. godmother and Nana. This is Miss Kathy. Heard about you too. And this is Miss Diane. So these are mom's close friends. Mom has her friends over. They're not just guests, they're workers too. So we're trying to get the meal together so we can all sit and talk. Yeah, and you heard what she does, huh? No, I haven't got to, I haven't got to that part. I'm a hypnotherapist, but I also about nine years ago started a radio show from my office that I wanted to introduce to the world other tools, other things like feng shui and astrology. I became Jade the Love Muse on my radio show because I was sort of coming across a lot more relationship issues. So would more you than consider anything. yourself kind of new age? No, I don't So what's That's your it. spiritual background? I just, well, Do y'all go to church? And all of a sudden, she started asking me some questions about a church. Is that any of her business, first of all? Whose business is that? Well, I was a Catholic. Wait, is she a Satanist? Like, for real? Is she a Satanist? Be honest. Someone tell me. Is that why she doesn't want to say? Oh gosh, she's a Satanist. Look, until eight years old, and then my parents found the Unitarian Universalist the Unitarian, Church. What exactly do they believe? Um, we're all one, and we're all equal. We're people of so all So we're all one, one equal with what the okay, racist, so is the terrorist, what? Of God or You're not a Christian, in other words. No, I, I believe in God, and uh, in a, but I'm in a spiritual. Do you believe in God, or do you believe in a higher power? Like Allah, huh? Do you believe in the Christian God or do you believe in that Allah shit that Obabe believes in? Yep. This is before Obabe, but still. Not higher power. <laughs> so, I felt attacked. Are you spiritual? Do you believe in God or do you call him the higher power? That's not the first thing you, you ask somebody. I would never in my life do that to anybody. I mean, if all these people didn't die already from like, you know, heart conditions or whatever, they are 100% QAnon supporters now. You will never convince me otherwise. This lady could be like, oh no, I actually voted for Hillary Clinton. I'd be like, no, you didn't. You're a fucking QAnon supporter. I don't believe it. Let's go see what's going on in the kitchen. All right, girls, what are y'all doing? I felt like it's an outsider at the party. To be actually treated like that was painful. Okay, tell us some Holy Spirit. Bless the Lord, and be thy gifts, which we are about to receive from thy bounty, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Is this a southern thing? Can someone explain this to me? Isn't that kind of fucking weird that you bring your own big gulp to the party? Like, if someone came to my house and, and I was, you know, throwing an event and they just, like, brought their own big gulp and then planted it on the table, I'd be like, what are you doing? What, do you don't think that I got some good shit here? Like, you can't be too good for my diet Mountain Dew? Like, I, I don't understand. Anybody that reads tarot cards or does psychic readings or any of the above is considered of the devil. I think I made too much salad. Oh, She's not a Christian, but um, hopefully one day she'll be saved. I got that sense there was, there was an issue. They have a certain belief. 
and they don't want to be flexible with some, someone else's. I just don't want the girls to be influenced like that. Hey, you don't understand, Samantha, or whatever the fuck your name is. They want to save you. So I'm not they sure want to save you! Okay, the music is bothering me. Is this like anyone else? Does anyone else feel the same way? Like, it's just too loud. Yeah, it's poke. It's just too loud and like too aggressive all the time. Like they didn't have to fucking score this like Hans Zimmer. You know what I mean? Now that I pointed attention to it, you will notice it as well. I promise. Like literally every sequence has like its own soundtrack and it's kind of bothering me a little bit. Just like let it ply, dude. Let it ply. Let it play and fly. Fuck. My brain is broken from all this shit that I'm watching. Here we go, guys. LA, incense? LA, <laughs> incense. Here, Miles, you got one? Has everybody got incense? You don't have incense. Here you go. Where? Ryan, grab the drum. Everybody get a circle here. You bitch. Set my circle here. Okay, all right, everybody around the fire. Summer solstice represents the halfway mark of the year. So, we must get back into relationship, vivid and nourishing relationship to the cosmos. We must return to the way of knowing in terms of togetherness with the earth, the sun, and the stars. Okay? <laughs> Throw it in the fire with good intention. That's all I ask. Good intention. So, there we go. <laughs> we start the drums. The drums will begin. Come on. This is good intention. Think of a positive thought for peace in the world. Throw it in. I didn't like the drum and the music. And I didn't like anything that I considered not of God. This is just a ceremony celebrating the fact that we're all members of the planet. There's no religious dogma attached to this. There's no um, cult of belief. It's just plain fun. I was so uneasy and something just rose up in me. Oh, it just, it was the most awful feeling. I've had enough of this It's just, I didn't need to be right there. I just wanted to get away and, and, and I didn't want any part of this. I need help here. I need help because um, my Holy Spirit is rising up in me and I need my spiritual warmer. Stay tuned, because before this switch is over... This is tainted. I don't want it. Whatever it is, you giving me? I give it up to God. I'm a God warrior. And I don't want someone tainted doing anything with my family. Get out! She's acting right like someone needs to tell me that she's acting like there's a human being cannot be this way there's just no way i think this is a little scripted there's just no way that like this isn't like 90 day fiance i had like a little restless sleep last night at this point I i'm tired of the dark sided and new age science doctrine kind of things. I keep thinking, what is my purpose here? Will I even know what my purpose was here? I just ask God just to give me direction with this family. And oh, she's just about to, to whip up some good food, some though. Godly wisdom. Let's uh, let's go before it gets cold, guys. Okay. <clears throat> 
Yeah. Say grace. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> I can say one that I knew when I was a kid. Yeah. I would love that. Okay. And trying to get Marguerite so she feels comfortable. There's nothing wrong with prayer if that is what satisfies her. Come, Lord Jesus, my our guest to be, and bless these mm -hmm. gifts bestowed by thee. Yes. How's that? Oh, that was wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Wonderful. That was nice. It gave me hope. And I feel so much better. Today, Marguerite is going to take Jeannie's place on our radio talk show. So tell me about your show. There's a love and relationship show called Love Talk USA. And uh, we have a producer, and you're going to be on the air. You're telling me I'm going to be a radio talk show host. <laughs> Whew, this is going to be interesting. Uh-oh. Okay. We are here. All right, Marguerite, you ready? Am I ready? You bet. No. <laughs> This is the studio. Hello, I'm Margaret Perrin. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is Scott. Scott Cooper. He's our producer for the radio show. I was feeling anxious about the show, but I'll try. We'll see what we can do. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to get... Glompic said... I have to read this. I'm from rural Kentucky. She's not acting. They are really like this. She has the same haircut as one of my aunts who thinks NASA is the devil. I just, I give up a little bit when I see this. I give up when I, when I find out that the like, humans exist, humans like this exist. Callers, okay. and you can put your opinions out there, whatever you want to say. Yeah, I can do this, I can do this. Right. You love like your father the devil. Welcome to Love Talk USA. Love. Well, you're listening to Love Talk USA, and today we got a really special treat. I have Marguerite Perrin, so we're going to take some calls. We have uh, Chris from Chicago. This is calling in on line one. Go ahead, Chris. What's your question? What relationship has a better shot of longevity? One based on passion or one based on security? Well, that's a tough one. It's, it's, what do you think, Marguerite? I think you need both. I think you need a nice combination. You have to be creative. Whenever it starts getting stale, throw something in there new. I like that. That's a great idea. Um, okay, on the line right now, we have Jim from Philadelphia. For this dude, new means like, I don't know, using melted candles in the bedroom. For her, I assume it's like, we're going to baptize you today. Get a double baptism. First one didn't take. Tote the baby. Tote the baptize. What is on your mind today? Hi, my girlfriend wants to take our relationship to the next level, but my religious beliefs are against premarital sex. I think you should. Okay, this is scripted as fuck, dude. Get the fuck out of here. This is so fucking scripted. Pray about it heavily, and I think you ought to pray it to existence, and um, don't compromise your position. And I promise so, you, you'll never go blind. Um, <laughs> I was so surprised I could deal with that radio show and me speaking. I'm like, okay, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. So stay with us. We're going to be back after a few commercials. Love Talk USA. Mm -hmm. oh, it's I always strange to me that like people like this are so fucking supremely confident, though. Like, I just would have never expected someone like this person to be so fucking confident that she's like, yeah, I'm taking over a nationally syndicated radio show. Yeah, whatever. It's all good. I like that. That was yeah. really nice. And you had some it's bringing good... some things out of me. And I'm going to go to the restroom. Okay. For a novice, I think she did a great job. You're doing such a great job. Okay, thank you. As soon as she got up and left the studio... How you doing, man? We had a guest come in. Uh, his name was Tristan Rimbo, and he is a, uh, a psychic. But I'm really glad you were able to come up, and uh, I certainly I appreciate you. I didn't know you were coming. I had no clue. So. I knew at the last minute. Her name is Marguerite, and she's a guest, and she's from a different part of the country. Okay. And so, and so Jade is in a different part of the country. I okay. I can now remove the tinfoil hat. Hey, Chrisanne, love it. Well, screen. I'm just going to go with it. You got your glasses, they kind of do. I don't think he realizes what's... Like, this music is annoying, like, all right, we get it, bro, like, it's a suspi- It's an- It's a moment of heightened suspicion. How you doing, man? We had a guest come in, and he is a, uh, a psychic. I didn't know you were coming, I had no clue. It's right here. Her name is Marguerite, and she's a guest, and she's from a different part of the country. Okay. I'm back, honey. So you came back. I am here. Tristan Rimbo. Me, Marguerite. Hi. Well, 
Welcome to Love Talk USA. Love. Hello, everybody. You're listening to this show about love and relationships, and we also have a very special guest today in the studio, Tristan Rimbo. Tristan is a is a psychic. Immediately when he said psychic, God took over. I like said, you know what? No more. I will take no more. And um, and Margaret Perrin is very unhappy to be here today. Okay, that's fair. Okay, Marguerite Perrin is very unhappy to be here today. He's not a god. Don't worry, I'm not the devil. My head's not going to spin. I grew up in a house that was quite religious, a very strict Christian home. And I absolutely embrace God and Christianity and, and Jesus. I grew up with that as my basis. <clears throat> it doesn't matter where you grew up. End of discussion for me. Okay. Period. But Tristan, Tristan. Go ahead, continue conversation. Tristan is. I'm out of here. This is when you have content skulls clashing. You know what I mean? Where like, he's got producer skull. The producers of the show have producer skull. The fucking psychic dude has a producer you don't skull. Love the spirit Too much. Of justice. You love Too much of it. And now it just devil. like it clashed and it didn't work. Okay. I'm Margaret from Louisiana and Wait I'm a, a Christian. Wait a minute. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's you. You can be that and be this too. Good night. End this discussion. I rebuke this in the name of the Lord. <laughs> Slam. There goes the door. I don't like dark sided stuff. And I don't believe in psychics and I don't want them near me. Thank you. And you can cut that light off. I'm over. And I am done. And you know what? I will have God in my life until the day I die and I'm going to heaven. I, I've, I've done this every day since I was 12. I always, I've always had this on. I can take this and shove it up there. You don't love the spirit of justice. You love your father's devil. Find me a church. I've done everything every everybody else school. wants to do. Find me a church to go to. I need content. peace in my heart. I need it now. Bring me. I, I, I, I didn't know what to do. She's a little bit far out of control. You know, I'm a little bit confused by all that. I'm not fence riding. I'm taking a stand here. I will not go to anything else. I don't want psychology. I don't want anything to upset it. You don't love the spirit of justice. You love this is your a test. father, the devil. This is a God test. I feel like I've, I've just opened a window that I just really did not want to open. I feel like I just need, I need prayer because I feel so uneasy and I'm so alone. I feel under attack, a spiritual attack. I have to stay on the ground. Bro, she's literally about to call the manager on God, dude. No, actually, sorry. I should have just said, she's about to call the ultimate manager. God. Next week. Brooke, please tidy up. Brooke, get the boiled corn. You wear your orange dress. Ashley tries to control her sister's every move. Hey, this Devil. is like cringe. This is they what fucking ruin it. Goes on. They, they like spoil everything. You're in for a... I'm skipping this part because I don't want fucking spoilers, dude. Feel me? Amen. To a family with a like, why would they spoil what we're about to see? Are trading one parent for one week. New house, new kids, new life. Each family gets fifty thousand dollars, but it's up to the new mommy to decide how the money gets spent. It's two families' quest to answer one age-old question. You is the grass the truly justice. greener on the other you side? Your father's... It's just like annoying me that they're spoiling everything. I, I want to see the best parts when I see them. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to fucking... Ugh. Stand by. Jeannie and I have a radio talk show called Love Talk USA. And today, Marguerite was coming into the studio to sort of take Jeannie's Wife place. swap. 
does have better production. ABC did a better job with this show. Very special guest today in the studio, Tristan Rimbo. Tristan is a is a psychic. Information. Okay. Period. But Tristan, I'm Margaret from Louisiana, and I'm a, a Christian. Wait a minute. There's nothing wrong with that. There's you. You can be that and be this too. Good night. In this discussion, I rebuke this in the name of the Lord. <laughs> and I don't like dark-sided stuff. And I don't believe in psychics. And I don't want them near me. When I found out today, the little dweeb guy was a psychic. That's where God took over. Cause I like said, you know what? No more. I will take no more. Find me a church to go to. I need peace in my heart. I need it now. Bring me. Stand by. I didn't know what to do. She's a little bit far out of control. You know, I'm a little bit confused by all that. I've done it their way. It's so, up. Done. And this is just how I feel. <sighs> okay, well, how's Marguerite doing? Is she nearby? <sighs> So I'd like you to, if you, if you can, it'd be nice if you could talk to her. I think she'd feel better. Yeah. The point that you made about intuition is very much of a, of a, a moon-based uh, characteristic. Alignment does definitely have something to do with it. Do you feel you're more intuitive at different Excuse times me. of the month? Excuse me. Hey, you ready to go? Yeah. I'm ready to go. Hey, look it. Okay. Do you see him? Okay, let's go, okay? I will. Do you see Thank him? Thank you. How can I miss him, Chris? Come no, on, but let's he, go. he, he, he's... Let's go. Okay, come on. just think about him. I don't want to think about anything, okay. please, okay? All right, all right. Wait. I mean, Chris, no, on, but he, he, he, he, he, he, no, okay, on. can we just say goodbye to him? Okay, to be fair, like, look at his hair, dude. He, my, did I get touched by God while watching her? Because he does kind of look like, I mean, he literally dressed himself like he's, uh, the devil's advocate or whatever. Like, was it called the devil's lawyer? Like Al Pacino, that movie? He just literally looks like he dressed you himself up the spirit of justice. and fashioned himself to father, look like he devil. is the devil. Is the cross on his neck upside down too? I want to think about anything, okay. please. Okay. All right. All right. God yeah, Al Pacino and Keanu Reeves. I completely understand where you're coming. No, you really don't. No, I believe me, I do. I grew up in a family. I don't want to talk to you, sir. Okay, okay. You I really don't want to discuss it. I feel very uneasy, and the presence of it is bothering me. I'm ready to go, please. I appreciate that. Thank you. It was nice to meet you. You too, sir. Thank you, I'm Chad Sai. You should have said, well, Margaret doesn't feel comfortable with this, and so I'm sorry, but we're going to cancel this for today. Oh, I didn't know. I had to do You could have said that. You're a man of words. Gee. Wait a second. I, I don't want to discuss it. I'm not going to have this long drive talking about this. Listen, it's going to be okay, Margaret. It's terrible. Oh, I have this already. I, I have this available. This, though, this there is lots wrong with it. I don't like it. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> you know what? I trusted you, I've done and that. I've, I've been I've, deceived. No, I have not deceived you. I felt so uneasy in my spirit sitting there when that man walked in. I can't even begin to tell you. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I, I was so uncomfortable. It's okay. Listen, come on. I don't, I don't want you to feel that way at all. I don't want you to feel uncomfortable at all. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. You know that. Thank you. You don't love the spirit of justice. You love your father. It's going to make you a stronger Christian. Think of it sounds that. like the lady who tried to and say, it's make you better person. Because it's yeah, it's fine. That Do I look like I'm again. flying right now? Do I look like I'm happy and I'm feeling good? <sighs> I, I don't know at this point what I can do. I don't know how I'm going to do it. All I know is that God uses me as a tool right now and that I have to do something. What do you mean seatbelts? Jesus will save her. She looks like she's about to say, you don't love the spirit of justice. You love your father, the devil. That's what she He's looks like. He's pushed me to have to take this stand. Twice, you hear me? It's the first time. 
So far, being here with the parents has been a little rough for me. Because I haven't really been able to fit in yet. And so today, I wanted to spend some time getting to know the family. I'll do my best to be a positive influence. So we can go ahead and start making the green salad. OK. I want to prepare this lunch to spend time and do something as a family together. Bro, please get the pies. Where's the pies? The oven, did you preheat it? Right. It's not preheated yet, but it's gonna. I'm the perfectionist. I like things to be just so, or I get cranky. That's why I take the role of being the second mom to Brooke to make sure she's doing what she's supposed to. You have to explain to Brooke a lot with her, yeah. Brooke, give me one of those brown ones. Open up that sour cream and drain it. Stir. Brooke, please get that. I could see that Ashley really disciplines her sister. I'm concerned about that. Where are the colored plastic plates? Start helping put everything back where it is so everything's everywhere. Make sure cords are nice and neatly hidden and tucked and not seeing all this clutter everywhere. is being told what to do constantly. She's accepting it. She thinks she doesn't have any choice, but Ashley's not her mother. Abigail, you want to say grace for us? Bless us, Lord, and these I guess, which we are about to receive from thy bounty through Christ our Lord, amen. In the name of Son, Holy Spirit, amen. amen. Thank you. That would, that would be what you would be doing, Brooke? What? Yeah, Brooke has a class tomorrow. Brooke's um, one of my student assistants, so she comes in there and helps me. She doesn't really want that side of the school. She's a dance. dancer. Do you want to professionally dance? Well, I can tell by her physique. I can't wait to see you dance. Thanks. Oh, I get, I get frustrated with her. because It's like she'll go, she'll be comfortable in just doing a triple turn when she could do four or five, you know? And I'm like, bro, why not go for that extra, you know? And just like... Ashley has a very strong person. What is happening? ...personality. And Brooke is very quiet, so I, I would imagine that it's very easy to get lost in all of this. And I really want to help her with that. I wish I could sing her. <sighs> I give it all up to you, Lord. I have in my life. It is just me and God right now. She could be like a... Not like a mini boss, but like one of those like random bosses in Sekiro. You know what I mean? Not boss, sorry. Like a, like a random NPC in Sekiro that you kill. Kind of weird, like rocking like that, going over with a rocking chair. Absolutely, it's just me and God. I would have nothing. I would. I have been so blessed. This has been a struggle here. This has been a real struggle. Maybe God expects so much more to me than I ever thought that I could like do. I'm definitely a little broken right now. And that's good because you know what? When I'm broken, I can hear God. And he's telling me, Margaret, prayer hasn't been in this household for a long time. And they need to go to church. You know, so we're going to church. There's no choice. You, Brooke, are a sweet girl. Thank you. Today, I wanted to spend time with Brooke. Brooke is so sensitive and being told what to do all the time. So I wanted you to leave Brooke with something special lied. today. I wanted to show her that really should matter. I noticed that 
there are two moms to be your sister, but they're very strong women. Sometimes it's very confusing. To me, is it confusing to you? Thank you, Evan, the yeah, chat, 161 for the 521 gift stuff. say mom, I'm like, which one? A lot of people think Abigail's my sister. Right. Where do you feel that you fit in? You don't love the spirit of justice. You love your father what the does devil. Brooke want? Transgender pride has to be on He was really nice. That Mrs. Jeannie wanted to hear from my point of view. And it's really neat to have someone else come in and say, I know where you're coming from. I think that individuality is priceless. And I wanted to take you out shopping so that you can add that to your wardrobe. Your way, your style. That would be fun. Yeah. You know what you have to do, right? Be yourself. Yes. Do you see, these look really nice. I do like this. Do you have any watches? I mean, she's like two years older than me, I guess. I think. What year is this from? Like, I wonder what happened to her. Honestly, this is not like a wife swap because there is no both sides on this. I mean, she's clearly nice. And the other god lady is just clearly crazy. I have one. So what do you like? I like the flower. This is more me. Wow, you want to see in the mirror? That is so cute. What we get you here today will represent you. What do you like better, the watch or that? I think I like the necklace. Wait, she became an NFL cheerleader? No way. And the older sister died. I get it. I heard, man. You I heard, man. I heard. Justice. You love your father. You guys are devil. so horny to fucking spoil the show. I swear to God. Every time I watch one of these, there's like eight different people like, yo, you want to know what happened right now? You want to know what's happening in their lives right now? If I ask, like, what the fuck happened to her in real life, that's entirely different than like, I don't know, additional shit. Former NFL cheerleader, but it does not define me or my life. Very optimistic, open-minded. Last time she tweeted was like 2017, dude. People are saying Brooke has an OnlyFans? Wait, really? I guess her dying is not a spoiler in the both. show. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. How about that? You don't have to. Yeah. Usually. When I asked, I wonder what happened to her. I didn't mean it in a sexualizing way. I just wonder what happens to these fucking people in 15 years. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of time has passed. She's fucking 14. Chill the fuck out. No, no one is cooming to her, okay? Everybody calm down as well. On the other side. Like, chill the fuck out. I have people constantly telling me what to do. I wouldn't pick out myself on my own. But Miss Jeannie said that today was my own style. So I got to go pick whatever I wanted. Like, you don't want to know if you have the opportunity to find out what the fuck happens to the child of a person who grew up in a fucking house like that? If you have the opportunity, you don't want to know? I want to know. I'm being honest. Oh, 
Like, what the that fuck happened fun. in your development? Thank you so much. I wanted her to feel more comfortable with her choices and what she's doing, even if it's what she wears. You are weird as fuck. Just stop, dude. I don't think it's weird at all, bitch. Shut the fuck up. I honestly, from the bottom of my heart, believe that this is, um, is like some a spiritual warfare that God is just rising up inside of me. And I cannot leave here without having a conversation about God with the kids. Hey, Emma. Is there any way that just you and I can talk by ourselves? Yeah. Can I just talk with you just for a little while? Yeah, uh, sure. Just nothing, nothing heavy. It's nothing heavy. It's just something I wanted to talk to you about. There's been signs from God that I was really supposed to be here. It's like I woke up and God talked to me. Trust Jesus. As soon as she uh -huh. came in here, I was really uncomfortable with Margaret. <coughs> I'm not really considering, like, becoming a Christian. But... <laughs> Whoa! Bro, Miles is based as fuck, dude. 13 years old, he's like, yeah. How about you stop? Right there with this Christian shit. He's like, I'm not really considering becoming a Christian. Oh, that's so funny. I love that. 13 years old. What the fuck? Margaret didn't really get it. I wanted to tell you I'm that good. You know that my God is real. I'm good. Mm -hmm. Trust Jesus. God's going to use you. I'm I want to know what happened to him too, by the way. Just know that. if it, He's used you with me. Margaret kept talking about Jesus, but... We could never talk about astrology or anything that she didn't believe in, so it wasn't really fair. People should believe in what they want to believe. Why don't you just come visit my church? Right now, I just don't feel like it. I, I can't do it right now. No. I didn't feel like I was getting anywhere with the kids, and so Chris thought God. I'm going to talk to Chris for a little bit, if y'all don't mind. Let me talk to him by myself. Chris! Why does she think she I can convert the any I of can these now people? Remove the tinfoil hat. That kid's battle station is whack. <laughs> no, but like, why? Why do you think you can change anyone's mind on this? I will never understand this, this intensity for getting people to believe in God this way. Just let it happen, dude. I'm coming. Marguerite made it very clear to me that she was very emotionally upset. And so, good host. I'm trying to be someone who makes her feel comfortable. And uh, I'm curious to hear what she has to say. Here's where it's at, OK? I, I, I have an uncomfortable feeling. So I've been praying a lot by myself. But um, I had a need to like really go to church today. and. and and you might not believe this or not, but my Holy Spirit to me. Okay. I know. I know I sound crazy. Not at all. I've asked God to please, please give me the words or the wisdom. He's not like feeding me with information. I can just only be me and tell you that God needs you and he wants you. And I wish you'd give him a try. Uh -huh. <laughs> Why? No, no, I didn't. No, she was right here. You yeah. Don't love the spirit of justice. You love your father. Marguerite made it very devil. clear to me that. I'm gonna talk to Chris for a little bit, if y'all don't mind. Let me talk to him by myself. Talking about. Yes. I'm coming. Converting. Marguerite made it very justice. clear to me that you she love was very your emotionally father upset. The so, good host. Confess I'm trying to be someone who makes her feel comfortable. And uh, I'm curious to hear what she has to say. Here's where it's at, OK? I, I, I have an uncomfortable feeling. So I've been praying a lot by myself. But um, I had a need to like really go to church today. And, and, and you might not believe this or not, but my Holy Spirit to me. 
Okay. You don't love the spirit of justice. I know. I know. You I sound crazy. You love father, the devil. Not at all. I've asked God to please, please give me the words or the wisdom. He's not like feeding me with information. I can just only be me and tell you that God needs you and he wants you. And I wish you'd give him a try. I think that's a good idea. Okay. Mark. To be fair, like, it's crazy how understanding, compassionate, empathetic, and overall nice the spiritual family you is. You have attacked me and lied. It's nuts. They are, they, they're just like, like, they're like a little kooky, okay? They are. They definitely are. They're kind of grifters. With the whole, like, love doctor hypnosis shit. You have attacked me and lied. But ultimately, they are so fucking nice. Whereas, like, I, I feel like God Lady is just so overboard. Marjorie wanted to uh, get back into familiar territory. And I certainly empathize with that because she's far away from her family. Justice. She's in a strange house. And I was very happy to do that for her. No problem whatsoever. This is wonderful. I appreciate this. All right, guys, ready? Yeah, you look nice. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Stay tuned, because before this switch is over... This is tainted! No. They always show her, like, bugging, but I never really see her bugging that hard either, by the way. Like, I have yet to see her bug the fuck out. I hate these spoilers. I know. Dance is important to... Because I know dance is important to Brooke. Dance is really a big thing for me. Um, I was so nervous about dancing for Miss Jeannie. I really want to see her dance. You don't love the spirit of justice. You love your father. Don't worry, no one generalizes Christians as all this. The only people that fucking think all Christians are like that person are edgy r slash atheist dipshits okay same extends to muslims and and like just believing that uh, a group of individuals are exactly like that way the only monolithic individuals the only monolithic group of individuals here are conservatives okay we only dunk on conservatives here as a unified body that is worth dunking on What is happening? You don't love the spirit of justice. You love your father, what? the devil. Why did I lose the... I really want to see her dance. Wait, the music just went out on its own. Okay. Copyright? Someone said copyright, it was 50 cent. Okay, I'm gonna sing it then. All right, are you ready? All right, go, go, go, shoddy. It's your birthday. We gonna party like it's your birthday. We gonna sip a coffee like it's your birthday. Oh, we don't give she a fuck, it's not your birthday. Room. I couldn't take my eyes off of her. I got so choked up with Brooke dancing. I got to know her through her dance more than anything. You don't love the spirit of justice. Bottles in the club, you oh my god. The devil. I got what you need. He needs to get taking drugs. Wow. I think this is the whitest I've ever been, dude. Honestly. That's it. People always try to say, like, Hassan, you fucking hate white people. You want to do white genocide. Just send them this clip. And they'll be like, oh, I'm sorry, my Caucasian brother. My Caucasian friend, I'm so sorry for for uh, ever considering whether you are white or not. I I could not sense the big mayonnaise energy coming from you. My white ally. I was really touched that Brooke showed me her dancing. It makes me feel really, really special. This was a good experience for me. An eye-opening experience. <laughs> this is so 
so funny. They're like, they kept getting beer all of the fucking gargoyles, dude. A Caucasian power emanating from you, sir. I would like to offer you a loan. I feel so much better today than I did in the beginning because I'm happy that they went to church with me. Today was like a score. <laughs> I've planted the seed. I'm happy. I am. <laughs> and you know what? What? I can put my head on my bed pillow and feel complete peace. You're doing good. I'm so glad we started doing it my way. It's wonderful. Marguerite is comfortable within her boundaries, but I think she felt somewhat as if things were slanted more my way or our way. It, it clearly wasn't the case. You don't love the spirit of justice. You we haven't done it my way. Why does she... The weirdest part about it is like... Like, she legitimately thinks in her mind that, like, you know, she did something. She really thought she did something. Like, yeah, I fucking changed their mind. It's so weird. Oh, yeah, they love God now, dude. <laughs> Apparently, they're Unitarians, and Paul keeps saying a bunch of stuff about Unitarians in the chat that they all believe, they believe all religions are valid or something. Make up your fucking mind, Unitarians. Yeah, what are you talking about? When's my turn come? <laughs> Oh, I'm about done. <laughs> okay? I'm done. I'm about tested. done. You're, you're giving up, kind of. Also, you know who else is a fucking Unitarian, dude? You know who else is a Unitarian, brothers? Islam. That's who. Yeah. Because it's the final of the Abrahamic religions. I was looking for the song, the Allah, Allah song, but I couldn't play it in time. I forgot what the name of it is. What is it called? Like Hani Yusuf or something? What is the name of the fucking song? Oh, it's Sami Yusuf. God damn it, dude. Well, I fucked it up. Okay, well. Wait, Mevlana? Is it Sami Yusuf? I don't even... What is the name of the song? Protect me and guide me. Husby Rabbi? Is that what it's called? Wait, why is it called Husby Rabbi? Is this actually it? Or are you guys... <laughs> Allah the Almighty Allahu Allah Protect me and guide me Allahu Allah Oh, to your love and mercy Allahu Allah Ya Allah, don't deprive me Allahu Allah From beholding your beauty Allahu Allah Oh, my Lord, accept this plea Allahu Allah Dude, Sammy Yusuf in this fucking video literally looks like a dude who low-key bankrolls ISIS at HSBC. Like, he's like the... He's like the fucking... <laughs> I'm sorry, but he literally... He literally just looks like the super religious dude that got mixed up with the wrong mosque and now is just like... Now is doing fucking fifth column shit. I'm just... I'm sorry. I know. I know, I know. This is gonna trigger some fucking Muslims in my chat. It's Republican racism. <laughs> Look at him, he looks like such an accountant. Why is he why is he dri dripped up this way? Tam bir fetüji aynen amına koyayım. Tam fetüji tipli. Tam, tam fetüji tipli. Tom, Mesa. Not really, don't you think? No, I know, you're so okay, but yeah. But no, 
No, you I've done everything I could possibly physically do. Oh, come on. I have. Oh, I've been doing, I've gone along with everything that's been planned. You've gone along, except but you've it, resisted. You're there's not. been very few things I've resisted. When I run into someone like Margaret Change, I get very disappointed. But it also what gives me fuck? resolve to sort of... The devil. The devil came in, brother. These are into a different way of thinking. Astrology. Those papers every day if it was dark side? I don't care. Okay, I will not do astrology. I really am not. I'm not. It's a dead horse. All right. I was thinking that we could get through the rest of the week without any conflict, but oh, he God. just keeps pushing it so much. Oh. I, I maybe. I'm not trying to bring her up. I'm just. I'm just curious. Marguerite wants to have me be enlightened by her, but is is remiss and reluctant to do the same for me. Let me give you uh, an example. I know where you're going. You don't even. I know where you go. You can you can love Jesus all you like. I'm not about to change that. I would never. I never said it. you were changing me. I never so said if you I asked you to, me. if Jesus, if Jesus and God invented it, is it bad? What are we talking about? Invented what? Anything that you're afraid of. What are you talking about? All the things that we're talking. Exactly. About. What are you talking about? Excuse anything me. I, anything exactly. I can. Exactly. What are you talking about? Make it clear, because I'm, I'm like a little slow here. What's Make anything, it clear. I want to hear it. Any whole, any new age therapy. Social settings with spirituality in a way that makes it impossible to have a rational. I was getting my buttons pushed. He's been pushing it so much that now I'm like getting louder and louder and louder and louder. I'm tired of being pushed. I'm not going to be pushed anymore. Was there any harm or any negativity ever? Yeah, time? there was harm. It made me feel terribly uncomfortable. All right. Scientologists and this lady doing a handshake meme over therapy. All right. Hating therapy. All right, I understand that. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just. I'm, I'm tired of being the nice person. You know what? This, this is Margaret speaking out. I understand that. This is not passive Margaret that's going to sit any longer and act all nice so you can take your mumble jumble, nice, finesse, silver tongue to another room. Oh, well. I've totally had enough. It's done. It's over with. Stay tuned because you don't. Dude, I'm going to lose it, dude. Oh, what the fuck? Protect me in. Okay, hold on. Wait, he speaks in Turkish in this song too? What the fuck? He's singing in Turkish. Wait. Oh my god, this part of the song is Turkish, dude. Nesanlı ya Rab, ne bileyim amına koyayım. Hayatımda hiç demedim ki bütün şarkıyı. Vay anasını ya. Adam Türkçe bile konuşuyor. Vay amına koyayım. Alemin padişahı. Yüreklerin fenahı. İşit Allah derdimi bu ahlarını. Rahmeyle bağışla günahları. Okay, his his accent is so weird though. It's so weird. I literally just noticed this part of the song is Turkish. For those of you who don't who don't understand. You know what? No idea which way to go with any part of this money for this family. Chris and the family the do not believe in God. You love your it doesn't matter if it does devil. any good because I feel you like it's tainted. Bro, imagine you looking out the window and this fucking Dark Souls boss is just outside with a parchment using candlelight to write of whatever the fuck she's doing. Like, I feel like she's in the curses more than the fucking witch family. Yeah, it's just straight up blood dude. Chris and the family do not believe in God. 
please. It doesn't matter if it does any good because I feel like it's tainted. Why won't you listen to Armenian songs? Wait, what? What are you talking about? I love System of a Down, bro. This experience, it's not an easy thing to do. But I feel that the parents have learned to trust me and we really got close. I really felt very open to, we had sort of like a bond. Thank you. Hi, Mom. And when she's gone, you realize everything is like, it was sad. This is my Downs drummer's a chud, of course, dude. Bye, Mama Jeannie. It's not that surprising. Margaret is a beautiful family and beautiful children. And I hear Margaret's wonderful. So I really can't wait to meet her. Oh, I guess this is it. Can I have a hug? Can I have a good, good goodbye? This whole experience, the only thing that was really comforting was taking his family to church. Can I have a hug goodbye? Damn, dude. Miles. Trust Jesus. Cold blooded. God doesn't necessarily prepare you to share his word, but a mustard seed was planted and I saw it. When it came time for Marguerite to go, I was sort of disappointed in some respect that she wasn't more open. That's the only word I can say. I'm disappointed. Bro, you know he's actually disappointed because he did not bump uglies okay you know under that fucking under that exterior of an empathetic man he was like we're gonna you know i'm gonna smash some christian cheeks nothing for you nothing only god gets to clap my cheeks okay. right, you'd be good okay and she's not gonna change This has been a long, hard road this week for me. I have been tested in every area of my being. It had gotten to a point where I couldn't get out of there fast enough. This was the most difficult week of my life. At this point, after seeing all the things that I had problems with, the very idea that Jeannie was in my household kills me. I would absolutely hate Jeannie bringing in astrology, tarot card reading, any of this dark side of satanic stuff in my household. Going to meet Margaret. I had a knot in my stomach, but I'm sure that it was a positive experience for both families. Nope. Nope. Am I crazy or did she not do half the stuff that they teased? You have a beautiful family. You have a beautiful, beautiful family. It was a wonderful, you don't incredible love the spirit experience. Of you love your so much funky diva. And I bought her a beautiful necklace. And um, we went to the dance studio. We had a great time watching Brooke dance. I couldn't take my eyes off of her. Yes. So it was amazing. And what, what I wanted to say was that I wanted to spend time alone with Brooke. Because you, you did you discuss astrology with my family? No, I okay. but I hypnotized Ashley. Didn't think I'd be able to. I was to do very it, concerned I did. if you weren't a Christian, you being in my household. This is my message, and I'm not trying to be ugly. I have to say this put God in your heart, please, please, put God in your heart. I was getting really confused. I saw how upset she was, but I didn't know why. I was very uncomfortable. When I had my spirit, I was totally uneasy. I wanted to come home.
Dude, you can dupe this person so easily. Like, just by using God, you can get her to... If she's this fearful all the time, you could literally use God to do make her do anything. I'm describing the Republican Party platform right now. I just realized. But also, seriously, like, literally, it's scary how much you can manipulate this person. And now I realize why people vote Republican. But seriously, it's fucking very weird to be this way like you can be religious and be normal and and rational and and think critically but still maintain that spirituality same with like islam or any number of other religions but goddamn like she is like she's just like next level dude this is nuts Good. So I tried talking to Chris about it. I asked him at one point. All I'm asking you is because I, I never dreamed that it'd be so uneasy for me because I'm just a fun loving, easygoing person. Just to please do not talk about those subjects that bother me, respect me in that, and it just continued. And he, he knows how to push buttons. So, oh, God. And I'm very simple. And I've cried more in the last week than I've cried in my entire life. Margaret told me exactly what happened. I feel really bad that she was that uncomfortable. I wish Chris didn't shove it down her throat. Why was he so focused on that? I don't know. I really don't know. I'm ready to go home. I don't Peace. know. This, this letter is for you. Me being in spiritual warfare has made me spiritually weak. Got to a point where it's like, I just want to go home. I've, I've said all that I need to say. God bless you and your family. <sighs> I'm glad it's over. After everything that Margaret told me, I need to figure things out and talk to Chris. There's a lot of things that happened that I'm angry about. Spiritual Don't go there. anywhere. Gargoyle! House. Energy's missing. When I heard that there was arguing in the house, I understood what was going on. I know Chris, and I know that he doesn't listen. And I feel that if there was conflict there, I want to get home. Yeah, what happened to the other guy? Like, why is the other guy just not a part of the show? I feel like the other guy kind of just like, he just hit it and quit it. You know what I mean? He was like, oh my Lord. We just got a golf mommy in the house. And then he just like left. He's just nowhere near the show anymore. Start crying. Look at <laughs> it felt so good to hug him and you know just be with them. Wow. They've been on my mind so much, wondering what they're doing. I needed to talk to everyone. Why am I making it weird? Oh, I'm sorry. We're watching a show about wives living with a different family. I'm sorry for making it weird by implying that they fucked. My bad. Yes, you are so much more elevated than I am from your moral high horse. Is it hard to see me down here? Because I last time I checked, you chose to watch the wife swapping show. So if I add a little bit of commentary on top of it and imply that they fucked, I'm not the weird one. Okay? I want to hear about everything. Did you have fun? I did, but I missed all of you guys in a big way. Come sit here, Emma. So we each had to write a letter that I need to read to you guys. 
Um, she says, wow, what a huge test. I will keep you in my prayers. To my dear Jeannie, the gates of heaven will $400 to a much needed little noise. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it fucking skips. The DVD is broken. Damn it. I needed to clean it better before I put it in the computer. Sorry, guys. For the Zoomers in the chat, a DVD is this like circle thing, right? And um, back in the day, computers and, um, and like kind of like your console, your entertainment system had a slot where you can put a DVD in it. And sometimes it would skip. Elliot, I give you $3,000. <laughs> miles, miles, miles. I give you $3,000 for you to decide without anyone's help. <laughs> Jeannie, I give you 1800 towards what you think Emma should need. To my new family, I give King James by their names engraved and dated. Last with the remaining 36,000? Yeah. To go toward sustaining the family. Wow. God bless. Margaret Perrin. Miles is happy. Elliot looks like <laughs> grinning over there like the Cheshire cats. <laughs> wow. How the money was allocated. Wait, so she got no money because she didn't give a hug. Right? Is that what happened? Not very Christian of her, by the way. I, I I'm trying to I'm trying to understand where the money went. I forgot that there was a money component in the in this game too. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, like this episode is freaky, but I don't think I'll watch another trading spouses. I think wife swap is better, better edited. Like it was just like better content overall than than this one. But I didn't do this for the money. I saw this as an opportunity to help people. And I don't know why Chris didn't do that with Margaret. I met Margaret today. She told me she wanted to leave from the beginning. She wanted to leave. She said that a lot. She has a stigma attached to this whole new age. I, I just couldn't get her to do anything that was. Anything. It scared her. I know, but there's nothing that scared her. What did you, what did Margaret say to you? He's a he's a hard ass, and he comes at you with. I like that the non scout version is literally this link. Like you just linked this exact same link that we're watching. Thank you for linking the non scout version, which is the version we're currently watching. Before we put a lit wife swap in regular chat for you to watch. These ideas and these ideas, he keeps gnawing, gnawing away at you. I wasn't like that. I wasn't like knocking the door. Oh, Margaret, here's a book. I never even showed her an astrology chart. I never did a mandala with her. Never did anything with her. She just flat out said no. It's also weird that like, here's what's weird to me, okay? So it's okay when she is trying to save everybody justice. from eternal damnation devil. by converting them to Christianity immediately. But like, she won't even be near like some, this clearly fucking, this little, little hypnosis twink you don't that looks like the, the devil. Like, what's up? You can't you be around. Father the devil. You can't like be that. around uh, the, the hypnosis guy. But you're gonna fucking change everybody's minds? Like, she's acting like everyone around her is trying to brainwash her children and shit. Meanwhile, you literally tried to brainwash people and it's okay. I mean, and they listened to you and they went to fucking church and stuff. Wow. I was very surprised to hear the stories about Margaret. You wanna know what happened here? We went and did her thing, but she couldn't do ours. Things were her, oh, yeah. her way. Yeah, he's meant Everything, Everything was her was way. way. Right away. From what Chris told me, it's hard for me to tell what went on here because I heard two different sides. 
but it, it seems like Margaret might not have told me about everything going on. <laughs> it's good to see you. Did you miss? Of course I did. No, she was just crying just because she felt like crying. Of course I did. Thank How about you. a hug? How about a hug? <laughs> I think that this experience, it's, it's about knowing and understanding. And Here, I'll pass them on. And, you know, my values are different than Mark. Bill, my family could have shared so much with her. Easy, though. Easy does it. I know that something good is going to come out of this. And just knowing that, that's what I feel. It's worth it. It's worth it in the end. We're coming from a viewpoint of view of different viewpoints being equal where the religious lady who's starting from the position of these people are wrong yeah i know i know but like at no point did she realize like at no point was she ever like i don't know like maybe maybe there's some truth to what they're saying she's being very close-minded Here it comes. What do you mean, here it comes? <laughs> hey, never been so happy to see home roots. I bet you are. This is God's country. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. I'm so glad to be home, sir. You know, you have no idea. You have no idea. I have never been so uneasy in my life. I have not slept since I left New Orleans. I have learned about stuff and I have seen so much stuff that I have never seen before, nor have I ever wanted to see. <laughs> but you know what? God has opened me up. I am not any longer a person that will just trust anyone you trust don't trust anyone the real victim is the cuck husband dude like honestly poor guy has to deal with this shit all day i'd fucking lose my mind you don't love the spirit that really of sucks dude you love your father the devil that sucks really bad like what a terrible life to live Watch your kids. Watch who you bring in your house. I sowed some wonderful seeds, but I brought an ungodly person into my house. Bring me home now. Two episodes in one video to see part two ending go here. Oh, is this the end? Okay, this is the... But you know what? what? God has opened me up. I am not any longer a person that will just trust anyone. You trust, don't trust anyone. Watch your kids. Watch who you bring in your house. The music is too much. I, I, I couldn't get over it the entire time. I literally could not get over it. It's just like constantly like, okay, okay, crazy stuff is happening. Or like, the music you is basically treating me like I'm a fucking idiot. Like I need to, devil. I need the music to tell me that this is a quirky scene or that this is a scary scene. Like I'm not fucking five years old. What the fuck is Fox News or Fox just treating their audience like they're literally five years old? Like, ooh, this is where the scary stuff is happening. I sowed some wonderful seeds, but I brought an ungodly person into my house. Bring me home now. I think that like, I think that I've been spoiled by 90 Day React say like 90 Day, they have music too, but only in like cut scenes and stuff or only in certain moments where there's like a little bit of like it's like it's in the background. This is just like every fucking moment. All right, Simon says, touch shoulders. Cut scenes, says, like a video game. Down. Simon says, shimmy. 
Let's um, say stop. You don't want to kill Mexican <laughs> babies? You're a racist! I love that the message the woman took away from this was being given in this open room. Seven says run. <laughs> <laughs> Seven says stop. You know what I mean. You know exactly what I mean. Seven says say hallelujah. Hallelujah. She, she's, I think she's, yeah, she's here. She's here. No way. <laughs> what did I tell you? When they shoot the cameraman, you know it's crazy. It's not Christians. Did you not ask if she believed in God? She's not a Christian. She could be a Jew and believe in it God. It doesn't matter. She she's tampering in dark sided stuff. Yes, yes, she did. The entire house. Is dark sided. She said her whole house is. She is dark sided too! Why are you she mad is? at us? This is my house. I want no money. I want nothing. I want my God and I want my family. This is tainted. I don't want it. Whatever it is, it's tainted. Whatever it is you're giving me, I give it up to God. I'm a God warrior and I don't want someone with tainted. Anything in beliefs, doing anything with my family! Get out! Get out. <gasps> I want these crew members leaving. Get these ear sets off with me. I've had enough. Gargoyles, psychics, everything's ungodly. Dark sided. I'm glad you're home. Get the hell out of my house. In Jesus' name, I pray. I've had enough. Oh, I just said. Mom, come sit with Did us. Did you talk about astrology? No. Did you get hypnotized by her? I have taken a stand. I have taken a stand. I am not a fence rider. I was over there praying for all these people, but I needed prayer. I needed you we to be praying for I you. I needed you. You Mom, get me. I was praying for you every night. That I was praying for you every but night. I so needed hard. your prayers. So it's my fault. You did come to my mind. There was nothing of God. Every day it was nothing of God. I had to change the whole plans and make everybody go to a Catholic church because I was leaving. Took the ear sets off, said I ain't leaving. Fly, fly me Mama, home. Mama, just talk We had a party, a uh, solstice party. You for Catholics, this freaky? I thought this is you like, I thought Baptists devil. were like this. Damn, I didn't realize Catholics got this way too. Is she even a Catholic? I feel like she just had to go to the Catholic Church because there's no way she's Catholic. Cuz like Catholics are crazy in different ways. This is this seems Like I'm I'm almost certain that like that was a concession for her to go to like Catholic Church with those disgusting Catholics, you know what I mean? Like they're not even real Christians, but she had to go to the Catholic Church which is like you know Because it was the only one in the neighborhood. I love or something. the system. I can now remove the tinfoil hat. She is Christian. She's Yo, dude, I love this. Dolph. Listen, guys, to the rest of the fucking world, Catholicism is Christianity, okay? Don't try to separate Christianity from Catholicism because it will not go through my brain, okay? It's Christianity, dog. Let me tell you something. Catholics, you're Christian, okay? You're Christian, bitch. And Christians, same shit as Catholic. It's Protestant, Catholicism, just different sects. Stop with this. Literally the same shit. It's you the same shit. The it's just a different branch. You love your father, the devil. That's not how it works. Oh my fucking God, dude. No, the reason why is because of fucking racism and because of internal conflict. Orthodox Christianity. Protestants. Lutheran, uh, Baptists, Catholics. It's just different fucking sects. What the fuck? Do 
you see me sweating over the, the difference between Sunnis and Shias? They kill each other all the goddamn time, but it's the same shit. And at least, even though they fight one another, they fucking know that they're all Muslim. Catholics out here constantly like, no, it's not the same. Christians are like, no, Catholics are different. Literally the same shit, okay? Chill the fuck out. Mormons too. Party. Well, she said that was about the moon. It was a long. Yeah, it's thing. about the moon because they only believe in the moon and the gods and the I this and the that. Jane was not like that. Her, her name is Jade. I went to her station. I went to her station. Her kids don't go to church or believe in God. I did with her kids. Well, she did. Ashley, astrology. Mom, I'm believing. Tarot card readings. She didn't bring that up with us. If everybody would look back at everything I've been saying and preaching and praying and saying, I've been saying I am a spiritual warrior because I feel like I'm a spiritual warrior. Like I've had to put armor on just to walk out that house I want none of this I want out of this because you know what I won't take some ungodly person telling me what to do with my money or that money and for us I don't want it in my house it's tarot cards and astrology and witch books and and we had none of that here because you know why evangelicals are like this are not Baptists. no evangelicals are are Protestants aren't they I thought evangelicals were Protestants. Baptists is different, isn't it? it? Aren't Baptists like literalists? They just like literally look at the text and they're like, this is it. And no, I know that there's a lot of black Baptist churches, but there's white ones too. Evangelicals is everyone else that isn't Catholic. Because I'm the warrior. I ask all the questions. I love the Take the money. Take whatever you got. And get out of my house. In Jesus. Yes, Catholics not being Christian is an American thing. And it's because of racism. For the record. And it, they made it. It's literally because of anti-Irish. Uh, and Or anti-Italian sentiment. And anti-Irish sentiment. Right? I think so. I think that's what it is. They... They literally treat uh, Catholics differently because Americans are so fucking racist that they're like, anyone that came after us, anyone that's not a white Anglo-Saxon Protestant is you like love not white. Justice. So that's you why there has to be a different designation. Devil. Like, pee -pee -poo -poo. And, and because of that, there's a lot of separation between those churches as well. So they just treat... I they love just, the system. In, I only in America do they, do they have this anyone much, of, this much conflict between... Catholicism and the rest of Christianity. I've never seen it anywhere else. To the rest of the fucking planet, it's literally Christianity. And it is literally Christianity. It is frustrating that Americans will try to like make that designation, make that distinction as though it's a significant one, not realizing that they are upholding like upholding like fucking hundreds of years uh, uh, old racism against like Irish and fucking Italians and, and everyone else. I can now remove the tinfoil. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, I pray. They will be on my prayer list for the day I die. Everyone Evangelicals who means the evangelized, not the denomination, Baptist is denomination, but they aren't all evangelical. I will see the harvest. Get out of my house. Every dark-sided person, get out of my house. If you believe in Jesus, you can stay here. Don't uh -huh. stay in my house if you're dark-sided. I don't want to see a book of witches. I don't want to see anything, any stars. I don't want to see any of this dark side of psychics, all the things, tarot card reading. I rebuke it in the name of the Lord. Mom, come no, I am a, like that. Come talk to someone. I am a prayer warrior. Do you know what she is? Do you know what they do? Did you ask her, was she a Christian? Did you ask her, did she believe in God? Not God, not stars, not witches, not God. I've been educated while I've been gone. I've been educated on stuff. Was stuff I didn't even want you to hear, but you need to You know hear. why? Because mama can't protect They me. put me on the talk show and had a psych in the air. I took the ear sets off and said, I am flying home. I don't believe in this. Why don't you ask? Why am I the stroke? I'm always the one that asks all these things. I'm the one that's the warrior. Why can't you be the warrior? And then they have this wonderful star thing, OK? Yeah, no, there's and there's the Buddha flag. And this is a wall. It just goes on. Every day it was something ungodly. I was thrown in the yeah. pit. Thrown in the pit. Yes, that's, this is exactly what I was referencing about JFK being controversial and like his Catholicism being a significant uh, deal for all mass Americans. Anyway, sorry.
You couldn't even walk up the front door without the Buddha flags here. He thinks he's been reincarnated. Mother of God, I felt dark. Gene allocated the parents 50,000 as follows. 5,000 to pay for Ashley's dance certification. 10,000 to help Ashley and Abigail move to their own place. 15 grand for Barry to spend on the family. 20 grand for Margaret to pay for the gastric bypass surgery that Margaret wanted. Oh, damn. She was like, yo, you fat. <laughs> Fucked up. Um, okay. This is what it feels like for chat when you pause the video and then rant for three hours. Okay. Christians. Fucking chill out, dog. Okay? All the Christians, like, literally no one cares about the distinction between Catholicism and, and Protestants. I get it, dude. Martin Luther, bro, you don't understand, dude. Super evolved, bro. It's totally different. That's real Christianity. Catholicism is not. I don't care. No one cares. It's still the same shit. Finish video. There's more. What, 10 more seconds? Upon further review, Margaret has decided to... <laughs> oh, no. well, what happened to God then? Yeah, dork side. Let me tell you about dork sidedness, dude.